DFM issues in PCB design You need a well-designed PCB for the effective functioning of the device, and you can have it by focusing on the DFM or design for manufacturing. Different requirements are there in terms of PCB design, management, and fabrication that you have to follow. At the same time, you should consider the timeline to have a circuit board within your budget. PCB and DFM issues having well-executed CAD tools is easy, but these tools cause certain DFM issues which need lots of effort to solve. Sometimes a PCB is correct in terms of electrical requirements, but it is hard to manufacture because you don't focus on the design layout. The layout issues stay hidden, making it hard for you to assemble a PCB, besides the testing also becomes difficult. However, you can overcome the DFM problems if you understand the entire process of manufacturing. Now, we will discuss a few DFM issues, including tolerances, acid traps, SMD issues like open vias and uneven connections, a wrong opening of the solder mask, and the violation of standards. Once you know these problems, it becomes easier for you to resolve them and have an easy fabrication that involves less time to review the design. So, let's discuss the DFM issues one by one and find their solutions to have the best device. Connection issues on the SMD pads The connections on the SMD pads often become uneven as components are so small and hard to handle. These connections should be even to avoid the tombstoning while soldering reflow. Likewise, this rule also applies to the BGA pads for precise soldering. In other words, you should place a compatible pad according to the footprints of the components, so the size of the pad matters a lot. Generally, the pad sizes are standard for common components. The designer can easily check the pad sizes without exporting the Gerber files, like through a 3D, as the manufacturer won't do this for you. Manufacturers only see the Gerber files to compare the sizes of the components in the BOQ. You also need testing after PCB fabrication to make sure that the connection is even and it involves deep inspection like an X-ray. So, the designer should inspect the footprints to see if they are according to the lead size of the component. A wrong solder mask opening The term solder mask or solder aperture is an opening that helps the solder stay intact on the SMD pads while soldering, be it the wave or hand soldering. A solder ball develops on the pad while soldering which can collapse if it's too large, moving around at high temperatures. Designers leave a small opening in the solder mask to keep the solder ball intact while soldering, even if the ball is too large. This technique also works in the BGA where a solder dam develops when the mask hinders the pad from circuit boards via. You can eliminate this issue by creating the footprints of the components having a proper solder mask opening which often crosses the pad edges about 4 to 5 mils. When the solder aperture is very large, it is not able to block the flow of a solder ball while wave soldering. Open via issues in the SMD pad The designer should not give via in pad in the PCB. When you place a through hole via very near to the soldering area, it causes the solder to move through a circuit board's back. When via is attached to the internal layer's large plane, it will cause the heat dissipation into that plane. So, it results in tombstoning during PCB assembly. Though the via in pad has a great role in the HDI PCB having BGAs with a fine pitch, it should be avoided in smart circuit boards. You should insert plated over vias for small boards to avoid the heat dissipation that occurs during soldering and also makes via the connection for thermal relief. Understanding the acid traps printed circuit boards consist of various copper images. Engineers remove extra copper from the laminate with the help of chemicals that sometimes get trapped in a PCB with narrow corners, and this is called an acid trap. This process results in rough copper, damaging the PCB. There is a way to avoid the acid traps by using low viscosity chemicals. Acid traps also happen when the rooting is done at 90 degrees, so beware of the solution that a PCB manufacturer uses, in this case, to see if it is causing acid traps. The best practice is to root the traces at 45 degrees to avoid the acid traps. Design tolerances PCB design depends on precise parameters and tolerances and you have to maintain them. If you don't use specific design requirements, the routing tools will create any tolerance. 
you should keep traces at some distance from other traces, from pads, and from the copper pours. The clearances help in etching and leave a space for manufacturing clearances. These tolerances are also essential in high voltage layouts. According to the IPC 2221 standards, the difference between conductive elements determines the minimum clearance between the conductor and a trace. The purpose is to avoid the unintended ESD or conductive filamentation in the case of adjacent conductors and electrochemical corrosion. IPC standards and their violation There are unlimited IPC standards that you have to follow for a reliable PCB. Such standards are regarding tolerances, the annular ring size of the via as per aspect ratio, tear drops on vias and pads, land patterns, sizes of micro vias, trace width as per current, and high temperatures. Some manufacturers check the Gerber files and testing rules to see if you have violated any standards. Generally, the IPC standards are not mandatory, unlike high-end industries, but following them makes a printed circuit board more reliable. Accessing the DFM issues through PCB design software The above DFM issues are the common ones in PCB manufacturing, but there are several other issues. If you manage all the design rules, you and your manufacturer would end up with a reliable PCB. You need the right software to create a rules-based PCB, avoiding the DFM issues. Frequently asked questions What is DFM in a PCB? DFM is designed for manufacturing which means you have to have a special layout design for a PCB to be manufactured correctly. You will have to face many issues if there is no DFM. How to check the DFM issues? There are certain PCB testing tools to check the data set, finding issues that can delay the manufacturing. Many online platforms also offer DFM testing tools. What is SMD in a PCB design? SMD stands for surface mount device, and SMD components are parts being soldered to the PCB by using the surface mount technique. There are several types of SMD components having different forms. What is BGA in a PCB design? BGA means a ball grid array, and it's a surface mount technique for integrated circuits. It helps mount devices permanently, like in microprocessors. What are PCB tolerances? PCB design depends on precise parameters and tolerances, and you have to maintain them. If you don't use the specific design requirements, the routing tools will create any tolerance. You should keep traces at some distance from other traces, from pads, and from the copper pours. The clearances help in etching and leave a space for manufacturing clearances. What are IPC standards in PCB? There are unlimited IPC standards that you have to follow for a reliable PCB. Such standards are regarding tolerances, the annular ring size of the via as per aspect ratio, tear drops on vias and pads, land patterns, sizes of micro vias, trace width as per current, and high temperatures. Final thoughts Having well executed CAD tools is easy, but these tools cause certain DFM issues which need lots of effort to solve. Sometimes a PCB is correct in terms of electrical requirements, but it is hard to manufacture because you don't focus on the design layout. The layout issues stay hidden, making it hard for you to assemble a PCB, besides the testing also becomes difficult. However, you can overcome the DFM problems if you understand the entire process of manufacturing. Now, we will discuss a few DFM issues, including tolerances, acid traps, SMD issues like open vias and uneven connections, a wrong opening of the solder mask, and the violation of standards. There are several DFM issues, and if you manage all the design rules, you and your manufacturer would end up with a reliable PCB. You need the right software to create a rules-based PCB, avoiding the DFM issues. Contact us at sales at pnconline.com to know more about DFM issues or PCB assembly services.